Hey, what's up, everybody? You're not going to believe this, but we are now in the big city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And it's so exciting because there's all these Steeler fans around because they're having open parties today. And I think I might have to skip the beer and go see my Steelers. <laughs> yeah, well, I, well, I'll drink the beer. You go see your Steelers. Right. But you have to have a ticket. But in the meantime, you know the drill. Go ahead and subscribe, give us a like, and we'll see you on the inside. We got a, we have a special brewery that we're real, we really just want to introduce you to. We drink a lot of this beer in the upstate where we're at, and it just so happens that they have a brewery right here in Pittsburgh. So we'll see you on the inside. Hey, what's up, everybody? We are at Southern Tier. This is one of our favorite places to come when we come into the Wheeling area. We're in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we drink a lot of these beers in the upstate of South Carolina where we're at. And, uh, well, Patty, what, what did you like? Well, they had Christmas in July, so they had their pumpkin beers um, on draft. So I had, I think I had the pumpkin, I think I had the coffee, Press pumpkin, and then I had that rum pumpkin, which was very high in yeah, the, percentage. And yeah, the rum barrel yeah. age that was really boozy. Had some nice flavors to it, but it was it was really boozy. A lot of these beers, you were talking about 10, 12 percent. They actually have a beer here that is as high as I think 16, 17 percent. Mm -hmm. But um, I guess it was it was a carryover from. Uh, uh, Christmas, Christmas in July they had all the pumpkin I actually I don't have my shirt on but I do have a southern tier shirt oh, so do that, I. that has that and has I got the, here well it, yeah <laughs> that has the um, pumpkin um, the pumpkin people on it <laughs> people with pumpkin heads but they had the pumpkin pumpkin the compressed pumpkin with coffee they had all these different pumpkins um, for Christmas in July, and damn, my, that is that is some of my favorite favorite beer, the Warlock. That was a friggin' amazing. I loved it. And they also had a beer called Eight Days a Week. Kind of reminds me of the Beatles, but um, that is just a really nice. That's actually what that is there. Um, it's just a really nice pale ale. So what and else I did you like? To, I had the watermelon and the apple ciders, which were re real refreshing because it is really, really, really hot here. Yeah, it, it is a hot. It is a hot day. Um, but they, the atmosphere is amazing. Yeah, there's, 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 it's, it's fairly busy. So I'm, I'm just gonna kind of flip this around and kind of give you an idea as far as where we're at. We're in the beer garden. We're outside, sweating bullets. It's hot in Pennsylvania today in August and um, I'm going to show you kind of where we're at and then I'll, I'll go inside and kind of show you what it looks like inside. You can see that this is the beer garden. You got some tents uh, and all up. You got AstroTurf down, literally AstroTurf. And then you have the bar and all over here to the left, which is pretty amazing. It's a huge bar. People, you've got um, people over here. They got tables and stuff. And then um, you got tables or chairs all around here with uh, tables and stuff like that. Um, so it houses a, a lot, a lot, a lot of people. Um, is one of our favorite breweries. And when we come up this area, if we can make it up to Pittsburgh, we, we typically uh, get here. So, um, and I wanted to say the food is really good too. The first time we came here, we had that burger special. Remember that, and we had the real good burgers. And this time, I had a BLT, which was amazing. And um, you had the pork, right? Pulled pork. Pulled pork. That, that was actually was really weird because I like a lot of sauce on my barbecue, and um, they didn't give me anything to put on the side. I guess I could have gotten it if I asked, but that had an extremely good barbecue um, smoky flavor to it. So yeah. So, in a minute, I've got a special guest. I, you know, I'm not a, you know, I'm not an IPA person. This person was drinking some IPAs, and we're gonna get what his favorite IPA is. So here we go. 
Hold on just a second. All right, here's my buddy Steve, and um, he actually lives in the area about 14 miles or so away. And we met him here at Southern Tier. And um, like I said, I'm not an IPA person. I do drink them in my flights uh, if it's something a little unusual or different. But he's an IPA person. So he kind of, I think, grabbed one that, uh, that he likes. So what did you like, Steve? Well, I got to say first, it's an extensive menu. I mean, there's over a dozen beers on tap. I was a little disappointed to see that they were doing this Christmas in July thing and they had a bunch of pumpkin huh? beers. Not me, I'm excited. I, I am not like you, I am not a big pumpkin guy. <laughs> so I, I went to the bottom of the list and worked my way up. And I had a Smoothie New England IPA, Bengali IPA, I thought those were both pretty average. You know, they had a, a good hoppiness, not overly hopped. Um, but further up the list, I had the Easy Ringer. I was looking for low ABV because I was going to drink a few of them. Oh, I hear you. I, I was going to drive afterwards, and I didn't really want those 8, 9, 12. It was a 16.1% there. Oh, wow. But, um, you know, getting back up 16. into the... 16.1. Yeah, getting back up into their, their home menu, their year-round stuff, I really enjoyed the fill... Finn and Matt's Extraordinary Ale. I kept wanting to call it Phineas and Ferb. But so what's it called? Finn and Matt's Extraordinary Ale. Oh, wow. It's at 5.7%. It is it is crisp and refreshing. It's got just the right amount of hops. It does not knock you over. Um, but uh, very fresh. I did also try the Lakeshore Fog. I like that. It was a bit heavier. Um, but for my money, I could drink Finn and Matt's all day. I hear you, man. So that's awesome. So that is Steve's report on the IPAs at Southern Tier. You know, I like uh, just about everything other than IPAs, and that's why I asked Steve to kind of talk on some of this stuff. So thanks, Steve. I appreciate it. And until next time. Okay, so I am inside of Southern Tier. Boy, it's nice and cool. It's hot outside. But here we go. This is inside. Here's the bar, and that's the way you go out to the beer garden where I was. This is, the, this is the bar inside with the uh, televisions and all. And you get this whole seating area. I mean, it's, it's, it has a lot of room. And you can see where they brew the beer back there to the left. So as we come around, this is, um, yeah, there's Patricia. So this is uh, actually the entrance. This is where you come in. You can buy some brew there. You got shirts and all. So there's a lot going on here. This is a, this obviously is a really cool place. I love Southern Tier. I love their beer. Um, I am so excited they did Christmas in July. The pumpkin, um, the variations and all that they had, that is truly amazing. I was so excited. And uh, you know, so we're wrapping things up here. We're heading to South Carolina um, and We'll see you at the next brewery. Take care. Dilly dilly.